And as our weather authority gets you prepared for what to expect, Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli is live with the steps you can take now to protect yourself as well as your home before the temperatures drop. Courtney, hi there. Good afternoon, Daniel. Right now it's cold, but as you just heard, certainly not as cold as it's going to feel later this weekend. With the recent wintry mix, though, secondary roads and sidewalks like this one here have the possibility for freezing over. With that warning, doctors also issue a warning of their own to take it easy if you go outside. Be aware, be prepared, and uh, take it a little bit slower. As bitter cold temperatures slide their way into central Indiana, you certainly don't want to slide on ground that's iced over. Most of the injuries we see are probably from slips and trips or falls. A reminder to be cautious of your surroundings so you don't end up paying a visit to the doctor. And resulting injuries from that, whether that be bruising, head injuries, or possible fractures or dislocations. Though Ron Krause says most of the injuries are not severe, they can be. A few extra minutes and smaller strides could go a long way. But before you head out the door, if you do nothing else, do this. Run a constant drip of hot and cold water at any faucet on an outside wall to prevent frozen pipes. It doesn't need to be <laughs> that, right? But just enough that it's a like just the smallest steady stream. Plumber Jack Hope says the small trick might cost you a few extra dollars on your water bill, but it's nothing compared to damage caused when pipes burst. We've seen people with horror stories. A few other tips, disconnect your hose from your outside faucet, and if you have an old drafty basement, put a space heater down there, sometimes just like a big box fan blowing warm air around. If you're using space heaters for that purpose or to keep warm, remember to practice good safety to prevent tragedy. We want to make sure we keep them away from anything that might be combustible. That could be anything from paper to wood to blankets. We want to make sure we keep those three feet away. We want to make sure that we shut them off when we go to bed at night. Prepare for the Arctic air by protecting yourself, your loved ones, and your home. Excellent tips there. The American Red Cross also offering some tips to protect yourself from extreme cold. They say if you must go outside, wear a mouth covering to help protect your lungs from that cold.